I'm Paul Hogan. I'm a retired designer with a disability. And so I'm interested in the whole issue of access. I have been for quite some years because of these two strands. One, the designer strand, and the other one, the disabled person strand. And I got the insight many years ago that designers had an enormous influence on the lives of everybody, first of all, but, but disabled people in particular. You could say disabled people were the victims of bad design and suffered more than the ordinary man on the street who can accommodate himself to deficiencies in the environment. Whereas very often a person with disability lacks the capacity to accommodate themselves to these conditions. So it's a very important issue. I remember the first time I saw the cross of La Henny was I had to power the foliage to find them. And it was a wonderful sense of discovery. Uh, now we have, thanks to the wonderful Board of Works, we have gravel path, access, is all arranged, visitor centers and so on, which are great and needed and well done, but something maybe has been lost in the process. I believe and had a run a little campaign on my own to see that every art gallery and every museum should be equipped with wheelchairs, which the visitor could ask for, because it changes the experience and really makes it uh, wonderful. Um, I, I remember having a wheelchair in the Sistine Chapel. And I, that's the only way to look at the Sistine Chapel is by a wheelchair. I'll give you that tip when you're next in Rome. <laughs> I believe we've been very well served in Ireland by our architects and by our designers. And there are many fine examples of interventions which have respected the integrity of buildings and have added to the overall, overall enjoyment of our buildings. I walk uh, with uh, sticks and, uh, and in, uh, on a wet day they can be lethal uh, because the rubber furrowed slips. Uh, and uh, so I appreciate slightly rough surfaces where I can manage much better. <laughs>